Welcome to this week's photography video and today I'm going to start a new series where I just focus in on one single shot and tell the story behind it. So far with this new YouTube channel I have done behind the scenes shoots, uh, photography tutorials and travel stories and I'll continue to do a combination of these every week but today I'm going to start a one shot series where I tell the story behind one single image. The first instalment is from is from the archives. It was taken back on the 2nd of May 2011 and it was during autumn on a uh, on the mid north coast of New South Wales, Australia and it was a season that just kept on giving. We had back to back swells for a good three months and I had actually had a drifty focus on video for that season. I was filming Harley Ingleby's part for the Taylor Steele's intersection movie that was to be released later that year. Does anyone remember that DVD? It was only a three minute section, but it took us over three months to pull it all together. The film process can be very long. <laughs> this opportunity was my first real avenue into video, and I've done some projects with film since, but really since then I've stuck to my original passion of the still image. Anyway, this particular morning, I was just, I was just getting myself set up and taking a few still pictures to assess the best angle to shoot the video footage from. Harley had just paddled out into the lineup that it looked really confused but chunky with a new northeast swell that was just pounding the coastline. Most spots were maxed out and some would say this spot was just washing through as well, but it did have the occasional nugget. So we thought, we'll just give it a quick go. He'd only just got into the lineup when this absolute drain pipe materialized. It came through looking like a giant messy lump of ocean, but then it did something really strange something I hadn't seen before or since. Not in this manner anyhow. Just as it approached uh, the sandbar, a truckload of water pulled in all the right directions to shape this single wave into a crazy clean wall, complete with ribs in the wave and face, in the wave's face, and a lip that doubled in size as Harley paddled into it. It started to look like, you know, it started to look like a good one, but by the time he got to his feet, the wave just sucked more water from down the beach to shape a hollow section that rifled down the line with Harley standing backside, no hands, and traveling at top speed. So did he make it? No, he didn't make this one. But he got super deep, and I have many pics in the sequence where you can't even see the tip of his board. At the end of the wave, it got a reverse spit that blew back water into Harley's face with such velocity that his face stung for the rest of the morning. Now, Harley catches hundreds of waves every week, but I know you will always remember this one. It was one of the, it was one gem on a day that didn't look like there was a wave of that sort of quality possible. A freak wave. There really wasn't another wave that was remotely like it that day. Just one single wave and that's why it was so special. The camera data for those that are interested was it was shot on the original uh, Canon 7D camera and a 400mm Canon Prime lens. The shutter speed was 1000th of a second aperture at 5.6 with the ISO set at 200. While I was there primarily uh, to shoot sh video footage, the stills photography in me was very happy I was shooting photos and not moving footage, footage when this came through. The single still image stands stronger and longer in my opinion. What do you reckon? Is it stills or video that's the king? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to another installment of Dream Life Through Photography. Uh, if you like all things water, photography, surf, travel and landscape photography, please feel free to subscribe to this channel and like the video. Cheers legends and we'll catch you next week.